Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your December reading and also happy birthday solar return all my wishes for you so I meditated on your energy and I put the first layer of cards and so what spirit wanted to talk to you about is um, the first three cards that came out oh I wanted to say sorry before beginning uh, I'm doing another contest for uh, the winter solstice and the new year and this time for a free reading and this time I'm going to pick out of the um, commentaries so uh, from the subscribers that commented on the videos so um, there you go to win a free reading for your new year I'm going to announce the winter on the January uh, videos okay now the first card that they pulled out is uh, the nine of swords nine of swords that's worrying sleepless nights when our mind is overactive and keeping us up trying to understand and figure out how to do something how to uh, or prevent something how to get out of a situation how to make it what's wrong all of that after that I have strength so that tells me that whatever you've been worrying about pulling anxiety from here the strength energy that's when we can finally put all of that anxiety and see that where it comes from from our ego from our fears from um, because the ego is like a monitor uh, that uh, between uh, the very basic instincts and our higher self and it needs to monitor the the two poles and so sometimes we we kind of go down or it uh, like a computer it will work a certain way make certain associations and it's like with the strength card your higher self is able to tame that part of you because it understands it and therefore not pushing it down but actually um, healing it um, by understanding it from your higher side and that's why she's not forcing the lion she's charming the lion the lion is um, letting go surrendering to the higher self and that puts you to the full a brand new cycle how this is gonna come up in your reality your month here I have the six of cups and the moon so we're talking that all that anxiety can come from your childhood childhood emotions that were hidden in your unconscious the moon and the moon always asks for a quest because the way we see life is from our perception of life and often our unconscious beliefs uh, of what we've learned emotionally in our youth that wasn't well let's say categorized uh, will influence our perception of reality and make us react in certain ways where there shouldn't in the, because we don't have all the information so that's why the moon is a quest to be guided by our higher self instead of our untamed reactive side the dog or the wolf so we can cross that path to the, through those two pillars bringing a rebirth in a way gaining that illumination behind the moon understanding what is hidden in our moon what is unseen in us under the strength here I have the king of sword so that king of sword is the mastery of swords so with that strength from your higher self you're gaining mastery over your thought you're gaining clarity and the capacity to foresee and uh, act mentally on what is in front of you that new 
cycle here will bring a beautiful possibility ace of pentacle now the aces as we see in the card it's a hand from heaven putting it there one has to take it so all of the Sagittarius might have that opportunity free will to take it or to believe in it or to dare take it or whatever in a sense that uh, you could be somewhere and let's say you've uh, written a book and you know there at that evening there's an editor there that could be uh, interested in what you do that's an ace of pentacle because it can become something concrete now if you're too shy to go talk to him it stays in the air if you go talk to him that would be like the page uh, grabbing the ace of pentacle so it is a seed of possibility sent by the universe that kind of synchronicities that bring us these things under here our anxiety that comes from emotions that grew within us from our childhood or from the deep past or something like that I have the six of pentacle so that is the readjustment of either the five or the seven of pentacle of being lost um, uh, seven of pentacle nothing happening waiting for something and then finally we get results and we can receive or feeling not good enough not having what it takes sacrificing for nothing and finally understanding the principle of give and take that one has to be full in order to give and so on under our strength and the king of sword we have the nine of pentacle and so that is having the clarity on our value on our capacity on our worth on what we have gained in our path uh, it's a financial solidity also by oneself these go very well and what that will do is end in a cycle of swords so in a way whatever grew from our past beliefs thoughts mental limits it's the end of it we get conscious of all the ways that we got earth earth through um, through those beliefs how uh, we got betrayed uh, how we got stabbed and often it's uh, sometimes because either we thought we deserved it or we always sacrificed or the belief that we weren't good enough is enough for us to attract people that think we're not good enough or make decisions from that perception and we know how things uh, go on and the bottom of the deck here I have the devil so in a way there he is and when he appears that means that we have the strength or the capacity to uh, take care of him in a way in a mafia way <laughs> so uh, when he doesn't appear in a reading that doesn't mean he's not there but that means that this month you will have the, the capacity to see how this energy of the devil which work with illusions and acts on our ego uh, to put us limits sometimes how that affected you and you'll be able to overcome it with clarity by thinking from your higher self instead of your fears or things like that so let's clarify this I call upon the divine I call upon the light I call upon the Holy Spirit I call upon my guides help me clarify this reading for Sagittarius for the month of December About the nine of swords spirit talk to me about the nine of swords for Sagittarius since time is fluid that could be last month or the beginning of the month it depends of where you are 
So see, all that worry was putting you in a mental jail. Like you didn't know what would be the next step, what to do, feeling all conflicted inside. Or maybe about a conflict outside of you. Some of you will live it inside, some of you outside. But it's the same energy mirroring one another. When we are clear, we don't have any uh, conflict outside. So the, all that worrying was putting you in a stuck situation. Strength. <clears throat> So eight, nine, ten. You see the the process. The process here. It's like a mental pressure. We feel stuck. We feel the tide going up. You know, and we don't know where to align our will. Five of Wands. Where to go next? What should I do? There's this, but either I'm being uh, advised that way or way or my own self doesn't know which way to go this brings nine a lot of worry and anxiety until it finally releases at the 10 where I get the clarity now strength strength for Sagittarius spirit Oh, okay. They want to talk about the moon and the six of uh, cups before. All right. So here I have the nine of swords. It comes from there. They want to uh, specific this uh, moon. Talk to me about the moon. Ace of Wands. So that means that um, as the Ace of Pentacle, there's the Ace of Wands. A brand new passion or a brand new way to move forward our will. It's like when we have um, Wands is, yes, it's willpower. It's also um, the fire in our soul, in our direction. It's inspiration, uh, but not mental inspiration. Inspiration of uh, the soul that wants a movement to be happening. It can be a brand new passion or something like that. In the moon, you don't know all of the details of it. You feel it inside, like maybe a nudge to go in a direction. And that brings up all of your fears. But that's why the King of Swords is necessary here. That your mind becomes completely clear about this new flame that has a possibility inside of you. This new passion, maybe. Six of Cups. Two of Cups. Oh. For some of you, this is uh, like a soulmate relationship also. I say soulmate in a sense because of the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups together. Uh, we have many soulmates in our lives. Uh, they are souls that come with us often in our experiences through different lives or that we've met before coming here. Uh, that we've known maybe for from childhood also it could be the case but this connection that you feel deeply is uh, this passion that you feel arose in you brought up all of full of old fears and things like that within you it can also be for those of you that don't have this a spark, a romantic uh, union. It can uh, be also uh, because the Two of Cups represents the mirrors in our lives. 
how the people reflect um, parts of us that we need that's why we need to grow understanding what is in the, the cup of the other will be a reflection of ours either of our lacks or uh, or distortions or um, what we have to offer six of cups two of cups so it could be in friendship it could be in any uh, co-workers in any areas of your life there's something that was bringing anxiety making you stuck not knowing what to do about a connection that has a lot of possibility do you want to talk about strength now strength okay okay the fool ah there you are Sagittarius with whoops the ten of cups and the fool Ten of Cups with the Fool like this, that means the end of a cycle of the way that you were able to feel emotionally satisfied and share it. It all came to a brewing because what Temperance is and what, uh, in a way, Sagittarius has the capacity of is seeing the big picture, understanding the challenges in life that... Uh, served in maturing you and making you grow and uh, be more conscious he's preparing here he's doing the alchemy of life for the two of cups that is here so that means a brand new emotional cycle also um, and it all came in time uh, it was prepared for a long time. This is divine timing in that sense. You had to be mature to a, po a certain point <clears throat> in order to receive that connection. You had to go through your moon here and face maybe your old demons, your old uh, mental limits. <clears throat> King of Swords. Ooh. All right, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles again. Nine of Pentacles for the King of Swords. So that tell me, that tells me that whatever you're going to do with strength, with taming those fears, making your ego understand that acting and understanding from the higher self, it's for its better good. It's going to come from the clear understanding of your value, of your worth, of who you are and what you have to offer as an individual, as who you are. Not uh, because of the money you give or because of things you do, uh, because of who you are as a person. What is that uh, Ace of Pentacles? What is that new opportunity? Nine of uh, pentacle, uh, nine of wands. That's interesting. Seven of wands, nine of wands. You'll be maybe uh, a bit guarded against that opportunity. You fear it a bit, probably because of what is in the moon. You there. You went through so many battles where you got hurt, and you're looking at that with a worry eye. But that is like. Uh, I know you beat it up. I know uh, life was hard. But continue a little bit. Because after that is the 10 where you can drop all of that. Ace. 
1 plus 9, 10. 6 of Pentacle. Chariot. And that is good. Chariot is um, a very spiritual card. It's the spiritual quest per se. Because it asks us to align the two sides of us. Our unconscious and our conscious. Uh, what I like in the Rider Waite is that it's two Sphinx. And the Sphinx asks riddles. So, uh, what does your reality look like? And why? And what is in your shadow that influences the two? And so, somebody that is truly aligned with their star. Here, he has a crown of star. With their fate with um, who they are that's a reference to the star card they can align those two into uh, one plan one direction being aligned in every way into one direction and so uh, that tells me that whatever happens here uh, your quest through the moon will give you the opportunity to align yourself Towards that's why we call it success and all of that because it's an inspired goal. So maybe you have that uh, inspiration that uh, came through there, or that was already inside of you that you're finally going to act on in a balanced way. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, that's a bit too much, but the Two of Swords is there. So that tells me that there's an inner decision to take about this. Maybe that's why you're still a bit guarded there, because you're like, oh, do I really have what it takes? Do I really? Um, because perceiving reality or the things or the opportunities in front of us from a, a Nine of Pentacles, then we are strong in that perception. Uh, if we don't truly believe we're the Nine of Pentacles, then uh, our perceptions will be um, double in a way. You know? Uh, yes, I have what it takes, or uh, no, this is going to turn out like uh, things before, maybe, and I'm going to get hurt. So there's that ambiguity. Um, so maybe right now, as I'm reading this, this ambiguity is there inside of you. But you have to make a choice, lovers, here. Um, and again, from our inspired self, instead of our uh, ego, lower self, the id from uh, Freud, let's say. He separated the, the persona in three the id, the ego, and the higher self. So, uh, that's it. Who's going to inspire you, you know? Inspire your perception so you can take a decision, inner decision, on your direction. Nine of uh, Pentacles. Eight of Wands. How are you going to make your moves? See, Eight of Wands, it's that spark of passion, of willpower that is planted in the ground to grow. So, um, from an alignment and the understanding of give and take of, uh, from one's fulfilled self, we can give the overflow to others. And receive from overflow, not from sacrifice. We are going to make um, moves that are going to bring something. It's back and forward moves, you know, going to talk to people. Uh, or um, if it's a relationship, uh, meeting that person, going for coffee and then dinner and then whatnot. Ten of Swords. Uh, 
uh, the star and we have the lovers again so there you go so here you're gonna finish that cycle by understanding because the star we have to understand it comes after the tower so after this enlightenment from the divine where we uh, what is on a stable or based on um, distorted energies that we try to build ourselves uh, from will always be crumbled until the until the base is strong so here the star comes after because once this happens and we understand it that's when we realign with who we are why we came in this world we realign with our stars we're in total integrity that's why she's naked with who we are and here she's pouring the waters back in the because what is water? Water carries information. It is emotions, but it carries information. The emotional experience that we had, that maturity of emotions through our experimentations of life, she's pouring it back to the collective and back in the ground so that what will grow after that will be inspired or f feeded by this new emotional consciousness okay new information she is not afraid of pouring everything because she knows the divine will back her up that means understanding truly our lesson um like the star reversed is when we don't understand our lessons and so in in that sense we will try to find recognition from outside instead of from inside uh, so that like the fall, false need to uh, uh, stardom in a way but having not coming from what we uh, emanate from inside but just for um, reflection capacity that we need to have our ego recognized so this is truly understanding the lesson being able to pass our uh, sword cycle and here bottom of the deck I have the lovers so that means that there what you are planting that the way you're going to make your moves will be inspired moves from your higher self like in the lovers card you see the lady she looks at the angel she's inspired from higher than herself and her masculine side is looking at her therefore his actions his actions will be inspired by the divine and that's why there's a mountain here because that's how we ascend if um, in this depiction they don't show it well it's very artistic but the symbols are not so great sometimes um, in in the right away in the devil the lady looks in front of her she doesn't look at the devil and the man looks at the lady so it's not inspired the only fruit she has is one grape base chakra that means only base chakra energy of fight or flight we feel attacked by the universe and we have to defend ourselves and this man only has one flame of consciousness also in his base chakra and so it's more reactions to the events and we are victim of the world instead of, of being inspired and acting on it to rise ourselves that's why it's the complete opposite and it comes from a decision from the inner decision here that maybe was ambiguous or will be ambiguous for some of you and it has to do see with the five of pentacle and that's why that understanding six of pentacle from five to six from feeling we don't have what it takes until or, or understanding that who we are is way enough that we the universe wants to give us and we should allow to receive and so the quality of what we're going to give after is completely different so it is a huge uh, progress that's happening here 
that's beautiful just uh, let's just see here what's gonna come out of this for Sagittarius Ace of Cup, healing, Four of Swords, the healing of all the worry and betrayals and disappointments you had in the past because you will understand the dynamic of them. You will make that choice and you will go for it with that new truth that you understand. Communicating with clarity, maybe fast, but at least with a clear mind. The Knight of Swords is the knight that goes and cuts what is false and untrue in his life because he's walking with that sword. So you're going to make that decision that will be outside of your comfort zone cause, because maybe before you were like here. And so a brand new way to be fulfilled emotionally. That's why you have the Ten of Cups here because... It is to gain a new level of emotional consciousness. Therefore, a new capacity to love and accept love for ourselves and for others, for our value. And a new, that, a new Ace of Pentacles and a new uh, Ace of Wands. All triggered from that flame that is inside of you. So that is beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know how sure I should uh, call this. Um, my God. Um, clarity on your worth and the whole rest uh, will tumble down, uh, tumble up, I should say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Clarity on your worth. That's going to be how I'm going to title this. So on that, I'm going to wish you happy birthday again. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to have the chance to win a reading. And also thank you for all of the all of the donations, the people that gave donations. You have no idea how much this helps. And uh, this month also I'm going to do a special uh, ceremony for, uh, for you that uh, gave from your heart like this. And ask the universe to give you back on the new moon and the full moon of the month. On this Namaste, love and light. All the descriptions are below um, uh, for private readings and things like that. So have a beautiful month of December. All right? Bye.